everyone, I'm Nikki with Design Like a Pro, and I am here with a tip for you that actually landed in my inbox this weekend. And I thought I would share the solution with all of you. Now, the question was how to save out pages in InDesign. Now, most of the time you're going to create a project and you're going to save out your pages altogether. But there may be a situation where you just need one page over the other, or you just need a selection of pages. So InDesign does allow you to pick and choose the pages that you want to save as PDFs. And then of course if you have something like Acrobat that allows so much easier flexibility with managing the pages in your final PDF. Now to give you a real life example, most of the time like I said I just save out my PDF document and all of the pages are in the order I need. But if you're working in a magazine type field, a lot of times you're not just saving a multi-page document in one PDF for your magazine printer. You're actually saving out those pages individually because they lay out the spreads differently in your final product. So they do not require you to send one PDF, rather individual pages for each page of your magazine. So there's several ways to do that. You could just save all of your pages in InDesign and then open up Acrobat and extract them. That's actually what I do. But if you don't want to go from page one to page the last page and you just need a few pages in between, there are ways to do that. So let's go ahead and open up InDesign. I'm using CS6 today, but you can do this in any version of InDesign that you have available. I'm just going to walk you through some of those cool ways that you can save out your individual pages in your document and that gives you a little bit more flexibility in the long run. Okay, here we are in InDesign. Now I have a simple eight page document here. This is a sample book that I designed for author Jessica Brody's upcoming book. There will be details in the description, by the way, for this book. I really encourage you guys to go read this. This is going to be quite interesting. Uh, but anyway, this technique is going to work for any publication that you have that has multiple pages where you want to see how to save this out. So I'm going to show you a few steps that you can take. If there's anything that you can learn about InDesign or technology for that matter, it's that there's several ways to do one thing. So let's dive right in here. So we're assuming that you have everything ready to go and you're ready to save out your document. Now, normally, if you have a booklet, you would potentially use this print booklet feature here and you could see that it is going to save out in booklet format and be printed double-sided. So that's one way that you would traditionally do this. But if you're saving for a publication and you need to save these pages individually, there are different ways to do that because if you use the print booklet feature, it's going to print everything together. So we're gonna save these pages out individually. So instead, we're gonna go to File Export. And then I'm just going to rename this one for now and we're going to save it as a PDF. All right. So here's where you can get very decisive on how you want to save out your pages. Now again, you can save all of the pages in one PDF. However, if you hit range, you can select a range of pages. So we have eight pages. So we can say print pages one to two and export those out. We can also say one to two and then maybe seven to eight. You put that comma in there and then you can specify. Now, remember that when you put this range in here, this is what you're saying is gonna go into one PDF. So if you don't want this to be in one PDF, you would just do your range like so, save a PDF to another range, save the PDF. So remember that whatever you're doing here is for one PDF. So if you just hit range one to two, and then you have all of your other items generally the same, and we go ahead and hit export on that, it's going to save out our PDF. Okay, and then if we go ahead and open that PDF, you'll see in the PDF that we just have the first and second page in that PDF. So that's one way to save a range, and that range can be anything between your first page and your last page, and you can get very specific. Now, what if you wanna save the entire document, but you need those pages to be individual PDFs? Back to File Export, and we'll save a new document here. Now, you could save these individually by going to Range, hit One, Export, 
two export, three export, and so on. But if you have like a hundred page document, that is going to take a long time to accomplish that. So the best option is to go ahead and save all of your pages in one PDF. Now this is important because even if you're gonna break out your pages into individual PDFs, it's still important to have one PDF that has all of those pages. If you wanna do any online publishing or anything, any way that you want to have somebody look at your entire PDF, it's still handy to have this. So go ahead and save out your document as one PDF and we'll go ahead and export those eight pages. Now, what happens is this. You have your PDF now with all eight pages, all separate, all ready to go. So from here, we're going to use Acrobat to actually separate this out. Now, it's not Reader that you're viewing the PDF in. You actually need Acrobat to do this. One thing that I'm gonna do first though, and this is just for organization, is create a new folder on my computer and say final pages. This is really helpful, especially if you have a big document that you can save those PDFs in a separate folder. So that's what we're gonna do here. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to right click on this and say open with Adobe Acrobat. And this is what's going to give us the ability to separate these pages out. So you can see in here, you have all of your page thumbnails. So what we're gonna do is we're going to extract these pages. So you go over to tools and you have all of these options for you. If you go over to pages, you have the ability to extract them. So if you go ahead and hit extract, you can now select a range. So this may be a faster way for you to even save out your document and play with saving out even more pages than the first step I showed you. But we want to extract all of our pages, so one to eight, and we want to extract them as separate files. This is key. This is every step that I do for all of my magazine production because my printer wants the PDFs separately. So this is a great time saver. So I extract those pages as separate files. I hit OK. And then I'm going to select where I want to save this. OK, so here we have all of our final pages and you can see that they're all broken out as individual PDFs. Now you could take this one step further and you can quickly rename these files in Adobe Bridge. So if you go ahead and open up Adobe Bridge, you can quickly re rename these to a better format if you want to. And notice it auto added numbers for us and that's okay. There's actually nothing wrong with that. Okay, so if you open up Adobe Bridge, you can see all of my eight pages are right here. So from here, you can just click and drag and select all of these and go up to tools where you can batch rename these whatever you want to. So you can have your default preset, you can move it, copy it if you want to. You can say however you want this to be named. If we just have it like so, and then you set what your sequence is and you can see a sample of what that's gonna be here. Actually, I just want this to be text. So you can set this however you want to and your numbering sequence however you want to. And you can get as specific as you want to and you can remove what you don't want. So here is this is fine for what we need. You go ahead and rename it and then you can see one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to eight, quickly renamed. And then if you go back to your folder, there you see your PDFs are quickly renamed. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please leave me a comment below. I love reading your feedback and learning from you as well. You can also send messages to ideas at NikkiHart.com and be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest and greatest here at Design Like a Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!